Desi Grammar Pro Max. Assalamu alaikum sir. Is it haram for a man to wear chain, not gold chain? As far as wearing a chain is concerned, maybe a neck chain, is it haram if not gold? As far as for a man to wear gold, there is a clear cut hadith in the Prophet that the gold and silver is haram for the Muslim man. So wearing gold or, or silver, whether, sorry, gold and silk is haram. So wearing a gold ring or a gold bracelet or a gold chain, it's haram for the man. Even wearing silk is haram. But this is permitted for the woman. The question is, is wearing a chain which is not made of gold, maybe made of silver or any other metal, is it permitted or not? There's another hadith of the Prophet which clearly says that you cannot wear things that pertains to the opposite sex. So wearing things which are meant, particularly for females, a man cannot wear, and things which are meant for the male, a female cannot wear. So this is a broad hadith that anything which is meant for particularly a female, a male cannot wear. And what is particularly meant for a male, a female cannot wear. For example, uh, things that are there like a earring, a earring is usually meant for a female, so a male cannot wear a earring. A ring, a ring is worn both by male and by female. So wearing a ring is permitted and the Prophet wore a ring, the Prophet wore a silver ring. So wearing a ring is meant for the female also, meant for the male also. So wearing a ring is permitted, but wearing a gold ring is not, talking about a finger ring. So wearing a gold ring is not permitted for the male, but it's permitted for a female. But wearing a silver ring is permitted for both. So if the ring, a finger ring, if it's not made of gold, it's permitted for the male. Coming to a neck chain. As far as the neck chain is concerned, it is a sign. It is mainly worn by female. So if you see the fatwas of most of the scholars, they will say, wearing a neck chain is prohibited for a male because it's meant for the female but what you should realize that previously all the centuries before i do agree that necklace or a neck chain was primarily worn by the female but in the last few decades we find that it is also worn by the male now, is it permitted for a male to wear something of a f which is specially meant for the female? And the answer is no. But there may be certain times, certain things in which it is meant for a particular sex, gender. Later on, it may be used for both. And the best example I can give you is of a wristwatch. The watch when it was introduced earlier, in the 16th century when the watch was introduced, the wrist watch was only meant for the female. The male never wore wrist watch. What the male wore was a coat watch. You know, they took out from the inner coat pocket and this one. So if in the 16th and 17th century, if an Islamic scholar was asked, can a man wear wrist watch? And the answer would be no. Because wrist watch was only meant by females only worn by females many people may not be aware of the history of the wristwatch it was in the 18th century or rather towards 1880 or the early, later part of the 19th century about 250 years after the wristwatch was invented it was 1880 or 1780 or the 1880 it was the soldiers they could not afford keeping a watch in the coat because to take out a watch, you'd, your, your, your hand was utilized. So soldiers, when they wanted to time, if they had an operation or had any, any event or any attack to be done, they, they had to be precise in time. So imagine if you had a gun in hand and then if you had a weapon in hand, then you're keeping the weapon down and taking out from your coat was very impractical. So in 1880s or 1780s, 
the soldier started wearing a wrist watch that was in the 18th century you know so the wrist watch came in the early part of the 16th century towards the latter part of the 18th century maybe 250 years till 250 years men never wore wrist watches it was meant only for female later on in the early part of the 19th century men started wearing wrist watches in the end of the 19th century it became common that the men wear wrist watch in the 20th and 21st century more men wear wrist watch than female if you do a survey the percentage of men wearing wrist watch is higher than the female wearing wrist watch so today if you ask an islamic scholar can men wear wrist watch i don't know of any islamic scholars which say that wrist watch cannot be worn by men but if you go back in history maybe in the 16th century or 17th century if you had asked islamic scholar can men wear wrist watch and the answer would be no because it was men specifically for female as times changed after 250 years the men started wearing and now more men wear than women if you ask me can men wear wrist watch of course they can wear no scholar that i know of ever said wrist watch is haram now as far as the chain is concerned the trend of men wearing chain has increased now you find a large percentage not majority but quite a large percentage maybe 10% 20% of the men they wear chain depending upon which part of the world you come from in certain countries majority of the male wear chain but if you look all over the world previously men used to wear very rarely now yet you have a substantial percentage whether it's 10% or 20% or more i don't know but yet now the trend has started that men are wearing chain and even the chain the type of chain the men wear is completely different than the type of chain the female wear the men wear much thicker chain it is bigger as compared to female the female necklaces are thin they are delicate even if they are bigger it is it has got a particular design so the moment you look at a necklace of a female you can identify different than a male easily so i know that if you read fatwas almost all the scholars in the past whether it be sheikh bin baz or sheikh utaimi or nasir dalbani or most of the scholars if you see the fatwas are men allowed to wear neck chain and they'll say no and i agree with them but they were not aware that 20 30 years after they die the men would start wearing chain so today i would if you ask me i would say <coughs> don't wear don't wear but the trend is such that there may be a time later on so i will not say it is haram i would say don't wear i being aware of the trend which many of the islamic scholars may not be aware i would say don't wear but i wouldn't give the fatwa haram i'm not saying that the fatwa given by sheikh bin baz or sheikh utaimi or nasir the man is wrong they are perfectly right at that time even i would say haram but now since i'm aware of the changes i would not say it is haram but i would tell the muslim don't wear maybe after 10 years 20 years 50 years when it's very common like how the wrist watch today more men are wearing than the female i cannot say it's haram but today i would ask the men that please don't wear neck chains but if you ask me is it haram i would not say it is haram i would be precautious because if i say haram i am aware of the trend and there are very high possibilities in the next few decades the percentage of men wearing it will become more like the example i gave of wrist watch when not not a single man wore for more than 200 years and then they started wearing now there is quite a large percentage of men wearing chains whether it's 10% or 20% or more they are wearing but and the same like the wrist watch of a female differs than the wrist watch of a male similarly the chains of the male and female differ so if a muslim asks me should a muslim wear a silver chain i would say please don't wear it avoid it but would i give the fatwa haram no i would not say it is haram because i'm aware of the trend and i'm aware but i would say muslims 
please don't wear chains even if it's not made of gold whether it's silver but best is to avoid when you're in doubt leave it out whether you call it makru or not I would refrain from saying haram but I would advise the Muslims that please don't wear chain what's the requirement otherwise they let them wear why involved in something which is doubtful because the hadith is very clear cut that you should not wear clothes that will pertain to a female a man should not wear clothes that will pertain to a female and females should not wear clothes that will pertain to a man and we know many a times that for example the trousers were only worn by men not by female but now the trend has started so if you ask me that can a female wear a trousers on top of that she's wearing a baya she's fulfilling all the criteria of the hijab she's wearing a baya which is loose but internally she's wearing a trousers I would say it's permitted as long as the trousers are a female trousers it's not a male trousers so you have trousers which are a female trousers are basically worn by male but today if a female wears a uh, izar which is meant for female and outside she's wearing a baya outside she's wearing in the house within the uh, within the family members which are mehram it's permitted so depending upon what the trend is but technically Islamically something which is pertaining exclusively female a male cannot wear something which is pertaining exclusively for a male a female cannot wear so based on this I would suggest that Muslims should avoid wearing a neck chain even though it's not of gold Hope that answers the question.